Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, short ride with the stud number 35. Uh, this is a part two one, as a matter of fact, and uh, we just showed part one uh, in the episode right before before this one. And this one is the actual match that took place uh, on USA. It was a television match with uh, Terry Gordy against uh, Doug Furness. And wow, these were two of the biggest, not just uh, in, in, in size, but uh, big stars, really big stars. Uh, Furnace is when he finishes up with USA, he's going to go, he's going to become a fixture in Japan. Gordy's been going there a whole lot at this point, and uh, I think we I explained a little bit of that when I was introducing the last, uh, the last uh, short ride. And uh, Gordy, uh, Gordy's been in Japan quite a bit. Uh, Doug Furness has become a huge star in Japan uh, because he's, he's just magnificently built. And uh, wow, he just, he, he was so phenomenal. Uh, what a tremendous athlete he was. He was the only guy I think I ever saw that could drop to kick somebody and then go ahead and do the flip and land on his feet. So, uh, you know, um, he was a really, really tremendous athlete. And uh, in this match, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let you see it, and then we're going to talk about what happens between uh, Terry Gordy and Doug Furness. Uh, this is 1988 USA Championship Wrestling with Gordon Soley and I as commentators. And I hope you enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, the next match will be a one-fall match with a 15-minute time limit. In the ring at this time, from Chattanooga, Tennessee, weighing 300 pounds, Terry Bam Bam Gordy. And his opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, weighing 260 pounds, the strongest man in the world, ladies and gentlemen, Doug Furness. I'm concerned to bring the fans this type of match on television. This yeah. is the type of match, as you can say, as you usually say, Gordon, would fill any arena in America, and this one would. Certainly no question about that, and uh, it is a great opportunity for those folks who are unable to get to the matches live. Beautiful counter by... Uh, <laughs> I loved it! Beautiful counter by Furnace. Let's throw Bob Polk's number up there once again if we can. Bob Polk, in case 
if you'd like to, uh, he is our promotional director, and in case you'd like to have wrestling in your town, call on Bob Pope. And, uh, and as you can see, that was a nice move on Furnace's part there. Uh, he went out and helped, kind of helped Gordy back, not helped him back in the ring, but certainly allowed him to get back in the ring and a handshake, and, and I, I certainly like to see that. Uh, I hope this match continues at that level. Well, I do, too. Uh, Doug Furness has uh, got a uh, ah, good single leg pickup. Single leg pickup. And uh, Terry Gordy very quickly taking advantage of that situation. Yeah, he's trying to put him into his Indian death lock and turn him over here. I, I believe Furness has got such huge legs, he'll have a hard time doing this to Doug Furness. He may have already figured that out and just scissoring those legs and crossing them like he has. He may, he's trying it. Uh, He's got those legs hooked. It's like he's wanting to do it, but Furnace has got that power and those. It's difficult to attack a man with legs like that around the legs. Yeah, I would have to agree. The legs, of course, are the most powerful, uh, contain the most powerful muscles in the body. And uh, those leg muscles of Doug Furnace, well, he hasn't been able to wear any store-bought clothes since he was in 10th grade in high school. <laughs> well, I can believe that. He must have... I'd say his thighs have got to be 38 inches. Uh, they're huge, and, and Gordy was not able to turn him over in that move, which doesn't surprise me that he couldn't turn him over. Irie Cliff into the fight. Oh, brother, and a short Larry at the boot. And that's got Furnace in trouble. Furnace in trouble, no question about that. Yes, and now, uh, once again, Gordy looks like he's going for it. He sure is. He's, he's not going to give up on that move. I think if he could put him in this hole, he might be able to beat him. And he is going. I don't know. Furnace is really fighting it here. He has turned him into it, Gordon. This is, oh, this is a horribly painful hole. Man, oh, man, oh, man. And Furnace is going to have to call on every bit of strength and savvy that he's got. He is uh, Terry Bronson, the referee, asking him if he wants to concede. Furnace saying no, but Furnace has got to be in a lot of pain. He sure has, but I've never seen anybody go this long without giving up in this hole, Gordon. But he is not going to give up. I don't think he's going to give up. I believe he's going to fight it. Well, we may have to, uh, we may have to throw in a towel for him because he could get some real stretched uh, muscles here. He is not giving up. This is absolutely phenomenal. He's fighting. I think he's going to try to make it to the ropes. And he's a long way from the ropes. He's a good two feet from yeah. making it to the ropes. And there's nothing to get a hold of on uh, that ring mat. That's one of the new and more modern ring mats, and it's a smooth surface. And he is not able to get a grip. I've seen fellas grab the mats and pull themselves along, but he can't do it. On Gordy them. gave up. I think Gordy gave up. Gordy's arm there, he's shaking out his arm like he was in pain, just about as much as Furnace was. And Furnace has withstood Gordy's toughest move. Nice drop kick. Beautiful move by uh, Doug Furnace. Put Terry Gordy down on the canvas. And Furnace closes in on him once again. Has Terry Gordy in a side headlock. They're into the ring ropes. Two giants of the wrestling world. And that one staggered uh, Furnace, but he's in for a lateral press. Close, close. He's really in contention, and uh, you can see his legs are hurting. Doug is having a problem with those legs. Oh, nice football tackle. I mean, he sent Gordy out on the floor. Reverted back to his days at the University of Tennessee, and Terry Gordy is looks outside like he's, the ring. Looks like he's going to step out and go see some sportsmanship here again. He's going to help him up. I can't believe that he's actually, he probably shouldn't be. I think he ought to leave Gordy to get into the ring on his own. Uh, oh, God. mistake. Oh, oh. oh, good Lord. Gosh. Oh, um, Furnace has got to be out. He drove a brain buster into him that time. He drove him down to the canvas. Furnace is out. I don't see Furnace moving at all. No, no. He took a tremendous impact, and what that may have done to his axis vertebrae, uh, there's just no telling what, what kind of uh, spinal injury he might have suffered. That's for sure, and the referee is tolling the count here, and Doug Furness will definitely not make this count. And Gordy, that's a cheap shot. That was a very cheap move, Gordon. Yeah, you know, really, he was out there trying to help Gordy back into the ring. I don't think he intentionally... That's very dangerous. You don't do that to a man. That's
that's a bad move inside the ring and on the floor like this uh, Doug's gonna need some help yeah I think he is in fact the matter is let's take a look if we can we'll take a look at exactly how this did occur because we saw uh, well <laughs> that was unbelievable <laughs> jeez no matter how many times I see that it, it freaks me out and uh, actually uh, Doug Furnish got hurt he was injured he was out for a month uh, and uh, Geez, it looked like it. When it happened, and Gordon and I are sitting probably not uh, four feet away from where they were when he dropped him on his head, uh, uh, it just shows you what wrestling was all about back in those days. Uh, Terry Gordy was at the top of his game, uh, and uh, so was Doug Furness getting there. Doug had been in the business nearly as long as Terry, but uh, wow, those guys went after each other, and uh, it was almost like a shoot. And uh, you didn't see matches like that very often, and you certainly didn't want to see those kind of results out of that match. They're going to come back later on and wrestle in the main arena in Knoxville. Uh, a phenomenal match. Uh, but uh, both those guys were so good. So very, very good. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. That's a two-parter. Uh, we don't do that very often, but I thought it fit pretty, fit pretty well together that way. And... Uh, and I want to thank everybody for continuing to enjoy these and for your great compliments and, and your comments out there. Appreciate that very much. And we're going to, uh, we're going to keep, uh, keep bringing them to you. And, uh, and, uh, and we're going to uh, uh, keep doing what we're doing. We're going to mix it all up. We're going to give you as many different things as we can, bits and pieces. You want the long ride, classiccontinentalwrestling.com. Four ninety nine a month is all you pay or $39.99 for a year's subscription to see that, see every one of them and everything on there. And wow, there's a lot of hours on there now. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna have a hard time seeing it all in a year. It's a uh, really, really proud of what's going on there. And uh, thank y'all for your support. And, uh, and uh, real soon, we're gonna bring you another one.